Hey, welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. Uh, this should be the last video of basics. It'll be an odds and ends video. So let's just dive right into this. Um, this was, uh, told to me by Daco Poper. I, I think that's how you say his name. I, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. But it's this block right here, Super Mario Bros. 3, miscellaneous tab in the blocks and tiles window. This block, it, it may look just like an ordinary block, but in-game, it'll be invisible. It'll still act like a regular solid block, but it'll be invisible. And it'll only become visible if you have a Tanuki suit and you go into a uh, in, in statue form. I also wanted to cover midpoints. I should have covered this earlier, but, but I didn't for some reason because I'm stupid. Um... So yeah, under the Super Mario World tab in the non uh, non player characters, aka NPCs tab window thing, there there's this check right there. It's, it's a midpoint. You put that there, and the the post tiles are in um, in uh, backgrounds. So I'll just assemble this guy real real quick. Super amazing. And then yeah, once you once you get this uh, midpoint tape thing, then well, it'll act just like a midpoint from Super Mario World. And yes, you can only have one midpoint per level, not one midpoint per section, not not whatever else, but only one per level, just like just like in the original. So now you'll notice how whenever you take a block and like you try to place it, or not only a block, this also applies to. Uh, you know, backgrounds and NPCs and pretty much everything else. You'll notice that it's on a grid type thing. Some things are on a tighter grid than others, but uh, I believe everything is on a grid. Well, what if you want to place something like specifically somewhere that it won't let you with the grid? Well, you just see this auto align box down here, you just uncheck that. And now you can place this anywhere, anywhere at all, like right there. You know, I really feel like there is something else I wanted to cover in this video, but I just can't think of it, so if it comes to my mind again, then I'll probably end up making another odds and ends video at the end of everything else, and, and this time I'll try to make a list of everything I think of, so that I won't forget. Like, I feel like I'm forgetting it, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm just being stupid. So, yes, let's just test this out. Um, and yeah, I made this handy dandy warp to lead right here and and as you can see these are invisible and if I grab this tanuki suit and then I go in statue form they become visible but they're only visible in statue form because because that's, that's that's just how it works in, in, in the town of Chinatown if I grab this and I die and re-enter the level, I start here! Woo and also, you'll notice these blocks flash for like a second after you start the level. So, that could be a thing also. Thanks for watching, and I guess this is all that I have left as far as the basics. So, next video we'll be starting advanced stuff. I, I had some troubles like dividing things up between advanced and basic like like i i had troubles deciding if something was advanced or basic is basically what i'm trying to say a majority of the stuff i just left for advanced but you know stuff and things see you later